Hello and welcome to this lovely Sunday. Oh, it is wonderful that you're joining us today because it is a day of celebration. If you were with us last week, you might remember that we explored Palm Sunday when we saw the story of Jesus coming into Jerusalem and the crowds laying down palm leaves and coats before his path. And we're continuing that story today. We're continuing to look at the Easter story even more. And it's actually the first Easter there ever was. That's how Easter came about from this story we're going to be looking at. And when we think of Easter, you might think of bunnies and little chicks and chocolate eggs. And chocolate is really lovely. Chocolate is great. Chocolate is great. However, however, it's not really what Easter's about. And Easter is actually about something even more cool than chocolate, believe it or not even more cool. It's about the love that God has for us. And Jesus loves us so much. He does something really tough, something he finds really tough, but he does it because he loves us so much. And God wants to be in relationship with us. He wants us to be close to him and wants us to love him back. Oh, it's an absolutely amazing story. And that's why I thought I'd put the bunting up. So I've got my nice colorful stripy top on. I've got my lovely skirt. I thought I would just celebrate with you guys because it is a really special day. Oh, the first Easter, really cool stuff. So we're gonna be singing a song. So I want you to get a nice space where you can stretch out and you can have a good dance because we are gonna be singing and dancing and having fun. So I'll see you in a bit for our song. <laughs>
Jesus of Nazareth was the friend of many. He told great stories. He healed sick people and did wonderful miracles. Oh, we can see Jesus got his arms around some children there. There was an important festival in Jerusalem. Jesus went with 12 special friends, his disciples. Jesus borrowed a donkey and rode into Jerusalem. The crowds became very excited. They shouted and waved palm tree branches. Oh, wow, we can see them waving some palm tree branches there. But some of the priests hated Jesus and plotted to kill him. On the day of the festival, Jesus ate a special supper with his disciples in an upstairs room. I think they've gathered there. They've gathered for their special supper with Jesus. Jesus broke bread and gave it to his disciples. But one disciple, Judas, was plotting against him. He crept out. Ooh, very sneaky. After supper, Jesus took his disciples to a garden outside the city. Stay here and pray, he told them. They've gathered in the garden. Jesus prayed too. Then a crowd of Jesus' enemies appeared, led by Judas. The soldiers took Jesus away. They stood Jesus before the Roman ruler, Pilate. Jesus is a troublemaker, said, said the priest. He should be killed. I can find nothing wrong with him, said Pilate. But the people shouted, kill him, kill him. So Pilate sent Jesus to die. Cruel men pushed a crown made of thorns on Jesus' head. Then they led him out of the city. And we can see Jesus carrying his cross there. When they reached a hill, soldiers nailed Jesus to a wooden cross. They also fixed two robbers on crosses either side. Jesus said, Father, forgive them. One robber asked, Jesus, remember me. Jesus said, today you will be with me in heaven. At midday, the sky went dark. Jesus cried out and died. Jesus' family and friends watched sadly. A good man called Joseph took Jesus' body. He put it in a rock tomb and rolled a huge stone across the door. You can see Joseph rolling the stone there across the front door. Early on Sunday morning, women went to the tomb. The stone was rolled away, but they couldn't see Jesus' body. Oh, they must have been quite shocked. Suddenly, two shining men stood there. Jesus isn't here, said one. He is risen from the dead. The women rushed back to tell the disciples. At first, they didn't believe the women. But then Jesus appeared to them. And after this, Jesus appeared to many of his friends. Once, Jesus cooked breakfast for his disciples beside a lake. A few weeks later, Jesus was taken up into heaven again, and the disciples watched, watching from the hillside as Jesus goes up into heaven. At Easter, we remember that Jesus died, and that he is alive forever. And Jesus has got children gathered round him once again. Oh, Jesus, he is alive forever. And that is the end of our story. Oh, what a fab story that was. Oh, it's been amazing to explore the Easter story with you guys. And to have an unwind and relax, we're going to do a craft. So if you get your little craft bags, you should have some different bits and bobs in there because what we are going to make today is a pop-up Easter card. So I've made one for you here. It's a little Easter pop-up card. So when you open it, it's got this lovely three crosses 
And what you can do is you can decorate and write a message on the inside and give it to a family or a friend. So in your pack, you should have in a different, in any colour, might be blue, pink, yellow, a little pop-up card. In your bag, it might look a bit of a funny shape, a little bit like this. But if you open it up, you should have the three crosses there. So one of your cards, an envelope to go with, to put your lovely to put your lovely card in once we're done. Some felt tip pens. Feel free to get some felt tip pens to colour, to draw or to write some things on your card. Um, some gems, you should have some lovely gems in your bag. And also there might be an array of stickers and little bits and bobs for you to stick on. So it's all good fun. But you can grab tissue paper or felt. You can paint on your little card as well. Whatever you've got at hand to home as well. So let's make our card. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to write a lovely message. I think I'm going to write Jesus. loves me. Jesus loves me. And oh, I just had a brilliant idea. I'm going to write now and forever. So I'm going to say now and forever. And what's lovely about this card, having looked at the story today, it's a very, your relationship with God is a very personal and individual thing and it's going to look different for all of us because we're all so different and God knows us so well. And what's brilliant is that God, because he knows you so well, he will, he delights and enjoys watching you do th the things you enjoy. So if it's football or maybe dancing, the different things that you enjoy, it might be something entirely different. He really delights and enjoys when you are being yourself and just having fun, enjoying being um, who you are in that moment. It's really lovely stuff. God really loves that. He smiles down on it. Doing some little colourful polka dots, because I always love a polka dot. Jesus died on the cross for those, even those that rejected him. So the soldiers and the people that's, that shouted, kill him, kill him. Jesus even died for them, for those that rejected him. It's amazing. So loving. Such a loving God. Loves us more than we could ever know. I'm just let me show you what I've done so far so far I've said Jesus loves me now and forever and I've done some little polka dots which is good fun um, I think I'm gonna do a few more little decorations I'm gonna draw some little hearts the love that God has for me but I think I'm gonna also do some gems because I love a bit of I love some colorful gems I'm going to take some gems and similar to the polka dots I'm just going to dot them around in different places and what's lovely about this is that Jesus God will really enjoy watching you have fun with this he loves when you you know you explore different colors and patterns he 
He just wants you to have fun and get creative. To just have fun and get creative. To be playful. And it's really, it's really important to try and hold on to that as you get older as well. I think adults, even adults, you know, God wants adults to also have fun and enjoy colours and creating and different bits and bobs. He really likes it. Oh, I wonder, I wonder who I want to send this card to. I think I'm going to send this to a friend of mine. Called Ruby. So I'm just going to say at the bottom, I'm going to say to Ruby, Happy Easter. You are so loved by God. Love from Annie. So I've got my little message there. I've put my little message in pink. So I've finished my writing. I'm now going to do some colouring on my crosses. So this is going to be some good fun. I am going to take lovely yellow. I'm going to do a nice stripy cross. I'm going to do a nice stripy cross. also see in the Easter story is that Jesus goes up to, to heaven to be with God. After being with his, with his disciples and with, with mankind on earth, he goes up to heaven to be with God. But Jesus is still alive. We talk about Jesus still being alive and with us because he's, he's in heaven with God and he still loves us. Um, and it's amazing to think that God walked among, among us on earth. It's a really amazing thought. It's a really amazing thought. And even though it all happened thousands of years ago, it still rings so true. And it's still such an alive message. God is very much still has a beating heart for you. And God, oh, it's amazing. It's utterly amazing. God loves you so, so much. Right, so I am nearly done with colouring in my crosses. Just gonna do a nice orange, some orange lines on this cross here. Oh, oh there we go, and I'm done. Oh, look at that lovely pop-up card. And oh, when I give this to my friend Ruby, I think she will really smile at this. It'll be a lovely reminder. Just the love God has for her and all that he's done for her. And that he wants to be even closer to her. Thank you so much for joining us for our craft today, guys. 
I really hope you enjoyed making your lovely pop-up Easter cards. How about we come to a close with a lovely prayer? And you may know we're going to do a teaspoon prayer again. So if you want to grab your teaspoon, if it helps you, you can hold it tight as we pray together. So we can close our eyes and just pray together. And what we're going to do for the teaspoon prayer is thank you, sorry and please. So let's pray together. Thank you so much, Father God, that you love us so much that you died on the cross. It was really tough for Jesus to do, but you love us and you died on the cross for us. We want to say sorry for those moments when we do things and we turn against you, we do bad things and we maybe say things that are not very nice to our family or friends, things that maybe we don't really mean. We want to say sorry. We want to say please help us to be even closer to you and to love you like you love us. In your name. Amen. Amen. Well, it's been amazing oh, to explore the Easter story with you guys today. I really hope you've enjoyed and you've learnt some lovely things here, explored, had fun, celebrated with a good old song. But enjoy the rest of your day. Happy Easter. <laughs> and I'll see you soon.